Today we're trying Adamandra's training day. This is the most insane training day I have ever seen and I feel like I'm gonna regret this. I'm a mediocre climber. I should not be, this is not a training for me. We're, we're still gonna do it. We're gonna try it because it's so ridiculous that I'm like, there's, I'm like in disbelief how much this man trains. Like this man trains more than he like, I don't know, like anything, like more than he does anything. Like it's crazy. Like, but then again, this man's climbing 515, like it's nothing. Like he's like, oh, 515 in my sleep, like whatever. Um, here we go. We have just gone to the gym. I have my, my oats because apparently that's what he eats for breakfast. Super exciting. First training session of the day, going for the campus board. I usually start with some pure power on the campus board. So it's usually the first morning session when I'm the freshest. So if necessary to make a good warm up and really every exercise has to be 100%. You have to give it everything you have. There is nothing more that I don't want to do at nine something in the morning than a campus board training. what in the herbal tea that was, but if I'm gonna make it through today, I'm gonna be drinking coffee. First training session of the day is done. I'm quite satisfied, but the training day is far from over. Brno, my hometown, is a relatively small place and it's possible to combine more places in one day to train. And I find it really refreshing instead of like training in one single place. Um, I'm not really as rich, so we're gonna stay at this gym for the second half and not drive to another gym. If I was doing it like Adam, I would have four gym passes today and that's not feasible. Yeah. But now it's more about like playful and dynamic boulders. You know, I'm a little tired for sure, but uh, quite happy with, with what I figured out. Personally, if it was me and my own training day, I would have been done. Like I would have been like, cool, I did a fun climbing day and a training, like two, two is reasonable, that I'm done. Like sometimes just one, but two? The fact that I have to do two more training sessions today this man is a machine i'm like he's like let me have oatmeal and some tea and then go do four climbing gym training sessions i'm like oh i'm not dying quite yet you know what i mean like i'm okay like am i a little sore and a little tired yeah am i probably going to be cooked after number three beyond number four i'm like i don't how am i gonna make it to number four like i'm scared that the footage for number four is just gonna be like me in a corner just dying like good for him we we love that for him i'm on my way to climbing gym number two aka session three he does three different gyms i can't do that so we're working with what we have So in the meantime, I have some work to do. This time is to check the first edit of the upcoming episode of The Road to Tokyo. In America, we don't get like nice restaurants in our climbing gym. So I have to get my food and bring it into the climbing gym. All we have is like granola bars here, so. So I took some rest 
this afternoon, did some work, organized the trip for the upcoming competitions and now it's time to hit the gym again. Uh, it's gonna be more physical bouldering this time and I am going to join a session of Stepan Stranik, uh, brother of Marati Stranik. Session number three, and I'm supposed to go meet up with like a strong boulder to have a strong bouldering session. So I have met, well, the best I can do is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was expecting a slightly better intro, but okay. The best I can do for my bouldering session. <laughs> Irina is doing so, so well. She's totally fine. Um, she's she's thriving, in fact. I think she's probably gonna make this a normal routine and do, you know, four different gyms every, every session. Why not? She's about to get so strong. It's intense, these like super powerful boulders. It was refreshing, I think, from time to time. You have to do it even for the World Cups. Now, the plan is to get pumped or hopefully get pumped as little as possible, but I will get pumped nevertheless, that's for sure. I am driving to the other side of the parking lot where the other part of the gym is because I do not have a climbing room in my house. Um, so we will be finishing it off here. I will not be at home and it has been a long day. After a long day, finally at home. But the training is not over. Now it's time to get pumped. Session four, I'm kind of feeling cooked, but we're gonna do an endurance round. <laughs> How am I gonna come into this? Do it. No, can I? I read about to establish on the C13. Please. Wait, there's nothing to come into. I think it's oh my god, there's a V13. <laughs> Wait, I thought I could just traverse over and that's the first hold. It's stupid. Oh, why is there a V13 in this gym? People say when you're tired, the training is just starting. And that's when you have to try hard. There are definitely certain reasons why you should train rested, but I think 
if you just want to gain some endurance a little bit of pain and fighting of the fatigue and almost feeling like you want to vomit it's something you have to suffer that's that's it and that's something i have to do feel that oh my god oh. Jesus. it's feeling the wall oh. Oh. That's it. I get to climb a lot and I really like climbing so it was training but it was a lot of climbing so a lot of a certain thing that I love a lot. So it was a pretty good day. Like like straight, just just uh, bricks. For <laughs> all, um, I think it was an interesting day. Like I learned a lot um, that I can climb more than I thought I could. But I mean, I guess it's like a bouldering day outdoors. But like just like like I'm like I can climb all day. But like this is so different. It's just like I never like for me the first half of the day like a training session and like climbing would have been perfect. But then doing another training or another climbing session and then another climbing training session is like that. <laughs> but maybe that's how I climb 515. Does this inspire you to train harder? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I mean it does. No, I've been like kind of psyched on training and I'm like, dang, okay, like I can push myself a bit more. Like, cause I don't feel this wrecked. Not, granted, I don't want to feel this wrecked on a normal day, but like I feel more wrecked. Like I'm like, maybe I'm not pushing myself enough. Is there anything that you would take away from this training? Like, I don't know, training marathon and put it into your regular routine? Like, is there like an exercise you did that you're like, huh? I will say I, I don't campus enough like in the beginning session and it was kind of nice to do it like i felt really like warm and i was like ooh, and then i'm like ooh, i feel that like i'm like dang probably be stronger and if i was sport climbing i would probably want to do the last session a bit more not my focus right now but if it was i mean i think endurance can help either way yeah I think so too. like i think it'd be good either way i don't know i feel like i could take some elements of it just maybe not like four sessions in a day okay bye, bye.